It's such a widespread, I mean, that's the whole problem that he found with the program was that it did massive sweeping dragnet domestic surveillance on people who were under no suspicion whatsoever. Normally, you would go to court and get a probable cause warrant because you think a foreign terrorist may be doing something illegal. Um, and to turn these laws and completely put them on American people, aim them, use them against Americans who have done nothing and are under, not, they're not under e even any kind of suspicion for anything. Um, I think a lot of people feel violated by that and they should. What concerns me that the government, instead of investigating why this agency has been violating the Constitution, the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, Section 215 of the Patriot Act, and all these laws, um, suddenly, you know, the first issue is let's find out who the whistleblower is and we're going to open a criminal investigation into him or her. You know, I definitely think people do think a lot ab about whether they're going to blow the whistle and how to do it. I don't think it's knee-jerk, but I think most whistleblowers don't anticipate the, fus the, the fuselade of retaliation that is going to come their way. They usually underestimate um, the government's anger and how far it will use the power of the executive branch to unleash on you. Um, that's what people underestimate when they're thinking about the consequences. I think most people know that they're likely to, to get fired. They're likely to have their security clearance pulled um, to get fired or to be um, ostracized from their industry. I think a number, most whistleblowers are pretty aware of those kinds of consequences, but I don't think any of them are thinking, this could send me to jail for the rest of my life. And I mean, that, that's a whole nother level.